Most young kids have difficulty controlling their arms, so when you add a racket, this makes it even tougher. Remember, if you can't catch, you can't play. So teaching kids to catch with their hands is a foundational skill for using the racket. Just like all skills, you need to teach catching through basic progressions. Here the kids are doing a self-catch with two hands in front and then to each side. Next, kids can catch with one hand, then the opposite hand. Good, Jackie. Either right or left. One hand only. There you go. If younger kids struggle with this, they can use a larger ball. The next step can be toss and catch with a partner using the same progressions. Once the kids have some success, let them add a little distance. Catching to the side and creating space is essential for a good ground stroke, so encourage this as soon as possible. All right, kids, can, can everyone watch Coach Craig? Can you back up? Nicholas, uh, toss to me. So Nicholas is going to toss it there, go up like this, into it. You ready? That's okay. And now you're going to toss it over here. Good. And when I catch, I'm going to catch to the side of my body. Now watch this. This is how a lot of you are catching. You ready? You're going like this and catching with it in front. Instead, do it again. See if you can catch the, with the ball to the side of your body. Okay? Good. When teaching the toss, make sure kids start in front of their bodies. Once they're successful with two hands, have them use one, then switch hands. All right, now, when you toss the ball, instead of going like this, Nicholas, toss like this in front of your body. Like that. Does that make sense? Well, you can see the ball. Once you increase the distance, then have them start to turn their bodies, but keep the arm to the side. With a limited take back, the kids learn to engage the trunk and extend their arm more to the target. This is the same motion as extending through the hitting zone of a forehand ground stroke. 